Alhamdulillah, <laughs> So inshallah we will start today's session inshallah so let's go to our slides so last time in the last class we started the rules of noon sakina and tanween so all of you remember which rule we did the first rule mm. is high yeah alhamdulillah and what is the meaning of is high just the linguistic meaning means clear alhamdulillah yes and what is the definition of the rule of izhar when we say the rule of izhar what is the meaning of izhar yes pronouncing clearly the haraka uh, haraka no 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 sorry not the haraka what do we what do we pronounce clearly when we say izhar means that no not really Yes, Sister Najibin, yes. The mean and noon sakin. Because since we are learning the rules of the mean and noon sakina, so we make the noon sakina and the mean clear. And when do we do that? When this rule will apply? What is the uh, condition for that? No gunna. Yeah, no gunna, no stretching. Very clear. We, re we will read the noon sakina and the mean very clear. Yes, throat letters, yes, alhamdulillah. Whenever there is any of the throat letter after the noon sakina or the mean, yes, huruf halaqi, then we will make the sound of noon sakina very clear. Like I have given you the example, I'll show you the slide. Yes, here in Surah Kaufer, everyone can see my slide in Surah Kaufer. فَصَلِّي لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَرُ Okay, one har. After the noon sakina, there is a ha, a throat letter. So we are not stretching the noon or not, we are not making it a nasal sound. One, no. We are making it clear. No stretching. فَصَلِّي لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَرُ Okay, the second example was that. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُ وَنْأَحَدِ Kufu one. Here is the tanmeen, and right after the tanmeen, there is a hamza with the fatha. Okay? So after the tanmeen, there is a hamza, so we are making the tanmeen clear. Kufu one ahad. Okay? So it's clear now? Yes, Mishal, you're okay? Okay, so let's move on to the next rule, inshallah. Okay, so our next rule is Al-Idram. Okay, after the Izhar, the next rule is Al-Idram. <coughs> what is the linguistic definition or the meaning of Idram? Idram means merging or insertion. We insert something inside it. You know, if there is an envelope and you insert a card inside the envelope. Okay, or you merge. Or we also use this term, merge. So what is the rule of Idram? that one of the letters is found, one of the idram letters is found, mm, oh, I forgot to, okay, so one of the yarmaloon letter is found after the noon sakina or tanmeen, like this is a combination, yarmaloon, ya, ra, meem, lam, wow, noon, okay, these are six letters. Any one of this letter comes after noon sakina or tanmeen, then we merge the noon sakin sound or immerse it into the following letter. You got it? And also this idram rule can only take place between two words and it cannot happen within one word. Just like the previous example we learned, one har, it was the one word. In same word, there was a noon and after that was a ha. But the rule of idram, this is a special about it, that uh, the no rule of idram cannot happen between, it cannot happen in single word. It happens in 
between two words. This is the rule of idgham. So uh, uh, I will repeat again after the noon sakina and tanween, uh, after the noon sakina or tanween, if there is any of these yarmaloon letter comes, then we merge the sound or the letter into the following letter and also we do, uh, okay, this will come after. So this rule of idgham has been further divided into two groups. Okay, as you can see here in my slide. They are, this is the basic, the main rule of idram, to merge. To merge the sound of nun sakina uh, or tanmeen into the following letter, which is one of this one. Ya ro, min lam, Now further we have divided the idram rule into two groups. The first one is idram bi gunna, means idram with gunna. So in the first category, we are going to do idram, we are going to merge with the gunna sound. And when that will happen? When you see these four letters, ya, noon, mean, wow. Out of these six letters, when these four letters, any of this, these four letters will come after noon, sakin, and tanween, then we will do the merging, we will do the idram with the gunna sound. And I've told you previously as well, what is the gunna sound when we were learning the maharij? What is the gunna sound? Anybody wants to write? What is gunna? Yes, alhamdulillah. Mr. Zahida is here. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, the nasal sound. When we take sound in the nose and we keep it there for two seconds, it's called nasalization, the nasal sound, and unna in Arabic. So these four letters, only for these four letters, out of the six letters, we do the idram with unna. And the examples I've shown here, the first example, here, this is uh, Surah Naba. وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا wahaja. When we are doing here, سِرَاجًا I'm taking the sound in the nose and keeping it there. So it's making the nasal sound. Okay? وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَحَاجًا Okay? And the next second example is from Surah Lahab or Surah Masad. تَبَّتْ يَدَا أَبِي لَهَبٍ وَتَبْ Okay? You got it? لَهَبٍ I'm taking the sound in the nose, in the nasal passage, which is called khayshum. Okay, so is it clear? The idram bi gunna or idram with gunna. Now the second, uh, okay, there is exception in Quran. There are a few exceptions in Quran regarding this category. Sometimes people ask that why this here is not happening. When the noon sakin is followed by one of the idram letters, Within one word, as I told you in the above, uh, when we were, I was explaining the definition that idram cannot happen in, in the same word. It always happens between two words. So there, there are some exceptions in Quran that when the idram letters, any of the idram letters in one word, then it is not idram. Instead, we say it clearly, just like izhar. We say that clearly. And in that case, it is called izhare mutlaq, absolute uh, clear, absolute izhar. And the examples, there are only four words, only these four words. You can easily memorize these words if you want. These four words come in Quran. And in this case, you can see this is a dunya. It's a very common word, dunya. There's a noon sakin and after there's a ya. Okay, so you can think about it that why we are not doing idram here. So because here, yeah, I, I was just explaining the first one, Mishal. This first one, this one is idram bi gunna, idram with gunna. Okay, the second one I will explain in the next slide. We are still uh, doing the first group. Yeah, so just... Uh, we are learning about the idram with khunna. So there are, these are four exceptions. Qinwanun, 
swing va swing after the uh, in the swing vanu there is a noon sakin and after there is a vow but we are not doing it gham here with gunna okay and bunyanan ad dunya these four examples are here in quran and they are from quran so these are the exceptional cases this is the way we have learned and uh, this is called is hari mutlaq it's is hari you can just simply memorize uh, like um, memorize like that okay yes sister zanjabi you want me to repeat the whole thing so the idgham means uh, the linguistic meaning is idgham is to merge or insert just like in an annual if we insert a card yeah the four words okay so idgham we have learned that idgham means that if any of the yarmanu letter comes after noon sakina or tanmeen then we merge the sound of noon sakin or tanmeen into the letter we merge them together we immerse the sound and then there are two categories there are two groups of idgham the first one we are doing right now is idgham bi gunna bi means with idgham with gunna Okay, so idgham. What is idgham with gunna? It means that whenever these four letters, you can see here in the Arabic I wrote ya, ya, noon, mim, wow. These four letters, if they come, if any of this letter come after noon sakin or tanmeen, then we do the merging of the noon sakin with these any of these four letter with the gunna sound. Okay. With the gunna sound means with nasalization, and the example is here. Sirajum wa haja, laha biwa tab. Okay, and only there are four exceptions in Quran that we do not do the itram here in the qinmanun, sinmanun, bunyanun, and adunya. Is it clear now? When we we will practice the surah, then inshallah it will be more clear. Sister Majibi, is it okay? Just the exception words. Okay, the exception words are here. This, can you see them? Qinwanun, Sinwanun, Bunyanun, Adunya. Okay, there is no harakah. I was when I was typing in my keyboard, I could not uh, type the harakahs. Sorry about that. I did not copy and paste. Actually, I just uh, did every letter by myself. I did the typing actually. Inshallah, next time I'll try to fix it. I'll try to figure out how to put the harakas on the letters. These ones, you can see these examples from the Quran. I copied them from the uh, website, the Tanzil. Uh, no, not the Tanzil. The Noble Quran. There is a website, Noble Quran. Usually, if I am making some presentation or doing any work online, so I use that website, Noble Quran. So it has all translations and uh, writing. So I can copy and paste from there. But for the these words like idgham and idgham, I I typed all of them. These without the harakah ones. So is it clear now, Sister Majibi? Uh, okay okay inshallah inshallah i will try that inshallah inshallah it's not a, um, uh, i don't think it's a big uh, issue just as long as you know the rule then uh, uh, it's okay inshallah but i will definitely inshallah put the harakas and uh, uh, put on the whatsapp okay so we have so far we have learned the first category and then we go to the next category the second group is idgham bi ghair unna we use this word in uh, urdu as well bi ghair bi ghair like uh, without without unna okay so first category was the idgham with unna and the second one is idgham without unna so in the first category we covered the four letters i told you in the beginning there are six letters ya ra mim lam waw nun yarmalun the easy way to remember these letters is to memorize the combination this combination yarmalun on this first the second line the yarmalun this is the combination 
So we have covered the four letters in the dram with runna. And now in the second category, dram without runna, two letters are remaining. As you can see here on my slide, lam and ra. Okay? So these two letters, if any of this letter, excuse me, if any of these two letters come uh, after the noon sakina or tanmeen, then we still do the idram, but it's not going to be with the gunna. It will happen without the gunna. We will not take it inside the nose, the sound. We will not do the gunna sound. Okay? It is called complete merging. It's also called in Arabic, it's called idrami kamil bighair gunna. I wrote it at the last line. Idrami kamil bighair gunna. Means complete insertion without the gunna. And the examples are here. Surah Humaza. Wailulli kulli. See, lam has a dhamma tanween. This one. The first word. There's a tanween. And right after that, the next word is starting in the lam. So we are completely merging the lam, the tanween, into the lam. Wailul li kulli. We are not stretching it. We are not making onna sound. Okay? And the same thing is happening here in the last combination. Humaza til lumaza. The ta marbuta, the circle ta, has a kasratan mean. Two kasratans. And after, there is a lam coming. So again, in this one sentence, in this one ayah, there are two idrams happening without kunna. Okay, no stretching. Be very careful. And then the sex, uh, second example, uh, this one, uh, it's from Surah Alaq. Yes, we merge without kunna. Arra'ahustaghna. We are not doing our, our we, we cannot even do that because raw is a letter that it's, it doesn't have any built in gunna in that. Okay? Ar, ar. We are merging the noon sakin completely in the raw. Now let me read your messages. No noon sound at all. Yes. Yes, Sister Majorine, that's right. No noon sound at all. When we do the gunna, if you remember in the beginning when we were reading, uh, we were we were learning the articulation points, the makharij, I told you that the noon and mean, they have a built-in gunna in them. They have a built-in gunna. Like when you say, and when I, I remember I have told you the way to find out the proper makharij uh, of the letter, that if you want to find out the makharij of a letter, you put sukoon on it. And then you uh, uh, put a hamza with the fatha or any, any haraka before it. For suppose the noon sound. We want to find out the makhraj of noon. So we we say an, an. When you say an, you're stopping, your tongue is stopping, but you will feel that there is a slight hunna sound. The hunna is going in your nose. An, um. When you close your lips, for mean, then the sound goes in your nose. Um, um, you got it? So that is the reason that when we are doing the idram, there is still, there is a, uh, there is a, still there is a noon sound there. Okay? But it's totally opposite in case of lamb and raw. When we are doing the merging, when we are doing the idram with lam and ra, it's complete merging without any unna sound. It's not even possible. Okay? Is it clear? Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay, alhamdulillah. So this was the rule of idram. So after the izhar, we have completed the rule of idram. Idram means merging or insertion. Yes, the examples. Okay, okay, Michelle. Yes, definitely. So the first example is from Surah Al-Humaza, uh, the first ayah of Surah Al-Humaza. 
very clear no gunna the tanmeen is merging into the lam sound wailul li kulli humazatil lumazah arra'ahu staghna okay ar arra'ahu staghna okay is that clear should we move on we move on okay we move on Inshallah, we will practice the surah after completing the rules. So I'm moving on to the next uh, rule. Inshallah. Okay. This rule is very easy. Not many letters to memorize. Inshallah. Just keep a track of the letters. Okay. This will be very easy for you. Since so far we have learned Izhar and in Izhar we have covered the throat letters, the six throat letters. Okay? If you want, you can write down on a separate uh, piece of paper or somewhere that you can you know, keep a track, inshallah. So in Izhar we have covered six letters Hamza, Ha, Ain, Ha, Ghain, Kha. And Dram we covered six letters out of the 28 letters. So Idram letters are Ya, Ra, Mim, Lam. Wow, no. So 6 and 6, 12. So we have covered 12 letters so far. Now, the rule of Iqlab. What is the meaning of Iqlab? The linguistic meaning is change. Okay, Iqlab comes, the, the word Qalb, our heart. The Qalb is the heart. It comes from the same root word. Because Qalb means something that keeps changing. Our hearts, the condition of our heart is changing always. It's not the same. Our iman goes up and down. Our moods go up and down. Our feelings would change all the time. So that is why the meaning, the name of our heart is Qalb. It comes from there. Okay. SubhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave such a uh, correct, like such a suitable, relevant meaning, uh, like name to our heart. Alhamdulillah. So the, the, from there, this rule has come. Iqla means change, to change. And what is the definition of this rule? That changing the noon sakin or the mean sound into a mean sound. Okay, and when do we do that? When there is a ba. When there is a ba comes after the noon sakina or the mean, then we change the noon sakina sound or the mean sound into a mean sound. And also we observe Wunna here. Okay, so very simple uh, definition. The I will again repeat that when there is a ba after the noon sakina or tanmeen, then we change the noon sakina or tanmeen into mean and we do wunna as well. Very easy. Just one letter you have to remember. After the yarmalu, there are six letters and this is ba. And the examples are given here. First example is from Surah Al Alaq. Kalla la illam ya tahila nasfa am bin nafiyah. So here on the ayn, the second last word, la nasfa am. I'm changing the tanmi. I'm not saying la nasfa an because there is a ba after this. After the tanmi, there is a ba. So instead of saying la nasfa an, I'm saying la nasfa am. And I'm doing the gunna as well. Okay, you got it? La nasfa'am bin nasiyah. In the second example, kalla la yumbadhanna fil hukamah. La yum. There is a noon sakina and after there is a ba. So instead of saying la yumbadhanna, I'm not saying la yumbadhanna, I'm saying La yum and I'm doing wunna. Okay, is it clear? I'll read the examples again. Kalla la illam ya tahila nasfa am bin nafiyah. Kalla 
la yumbadan fil hutamah okay. uh, you're supposed to do gunna anyway uh, no why if uh, why why did you say that sujaida if there is if for suppose if you are not doing gunna if you are not doing it uh, uh, if you are just reading it like that as it is like with the tanmeen la nasfa'an bin nasiya because ba is not huruf halaqi yeah yeah if there's a huruf halaqi then we read it clear we do izhar you're right but the, the, this is a rule of iqlab here did you get my point yeah here after the noon sakin there's uh after the tanmeen and noon sakin there is a ba coming so in order to for the uh, sake of the fluency these rules have been developed by the shiuch by the like uh, by the scholars they've explained it like that that if we read it like that la nasfa an bin nafiya it's not going to give that proper flow of the reading it's like here la yun ba dan no it's not proper it's the correct way is la yun ba dan okay did you get it this is either Okay, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So this rule is clear, okay? You're not going to get mixed up with the uh, idgham and iqlab. Is it okay if I go forward? See me, there's a shadda. Yeah, noon, noon shadda. And uh, remember the noon mushadda, then meem mushadda. Noon with the shadda and meem shadda, always we do onna. Oh, okay, this one. This is the last one. Oh, okay, Sister Majibi, you are asking about uh, this one, the first example. Lam kalla la illam ya tahi. This is the last rule we are going to learn now. I want to finish all the rules in one class because most of the time what happens when we are reading the surah, when we are practicing, so all the rules come. In different ayahs, different rules come. So if I teach you one rule and I don't teach you the other rule, then you will get mixed up. That, or maybe you are just you you will say that we are missing out something. Okay. So if we know all four rules, then slowly, slowly we will bring them in practice. Just like this example you have mentioned, Alhamdulillah, that uh, in this one, the first example, kalla la illam ya tahi. Here the ikhfa is happening. Okay, okay. I thought you were asking about the yang tahi. <laughs> okay, bin bin nafia. Because remember the noon, I have the shadda and me with the shadda. Always we do gunna. Then noon shadda coming here bin nafia. And in the second example, la yum badan. So it means we are doing gunna twice in this examples. Bin nas. Okay. Okay, so alhamdulillah. So now we move on to our next uh, rule. Inshallah, we'll quickly finish it. So this is the last of the four rules. Okay. So so far we have uh, we just quickly do review. Ikhfa, we did ikhfa, we did idgham, we did iklab. Okay. So what are the quickly write, tell me write write down or open your mic and just tell me what is the what are the letters of a is had. So if because if we practice in the class it's easy. After you can uh, you know just do the review. Yes, sister. Imagine being throat letters. Yes, alhamdulillah. And what are the letters of idgham? Yes, sister Salma. Good, mashallah. The letters of idgham we learned today. And the Yarmaloon, Yarmaloon letters, Alhamdulillah. And the letter of Ikhlab is Ba, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, okay. 
So now we are moving on to the last rule that is Al-Ikhfa. Ikhfa means, the linguistic meaning is, it comes from Khafi, to hide something, to conceal something. Okay, so Al-Ikhfa means hiding or concealment. And how do we apply this rule? How do we apply this word in our rule? That any of these 15 remaining letters, if you can see on this line, I wrote its, its letters are 15. So all the letters other than your maloon, ba, and throat letters, whatever letters are remaining, they are 15 in number, any of this, these letters come after noon sakina or tanween, then we hide the sound of noon sakina and tanween. Okay? And with the hunna, with nasalization. That is the key thing. Okay, I will repeat again that any of these 15 letters come after noon sakina or tanmeen, then we hide the noon sakina and the tanmeen. Tanmeen is basically, what is tanmeen? Tanmeen is also that has the noon sound at the end, like ban, an, tan. There's a noon sound at the end. So basically the rule is same. We are hiding the noon sakina. Okay? And the examples are here. The first example, Surah Al-Asr. Inna al-insana lafi khusr. Insana. Okay? We are not going to the makhrij of noon. What is the makhrij? The tip of the tongue touches the gum line on top. Um, the Not the gum line, the throat. Okay? So we are... Our tongue is basically hanging down, like it's close to the makhrij, but it's not going exactly to the makhrij. Okay? So here we are hiding the noon sakina. In al insana. Okay? And the second example, suratul falaq. Mea sharrima falaq. Mea. I'm not saying min. Okay, and hiding the noon sakina with the gunna. Okay, and the third example from Surah Al Ma'un. Alladina hum awsalatihim sahun. Okay, I'm not saying an. I'm not making the noon sakin clear. Otherwise, what will happen? Is har will happen. Is that clear? Mr. Mahjabi, Sister if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. They are very easy rules, just we have to practice. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay? Inshallah, Inshallah. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Inshallah. So on a daily basis, I'm sure all of you read uh, according to your time, or how much time we have, especially to find them 19 minutes after Fajr. <laughs> Michelle, yeah, if there's a question, um, prob most of the time, like when, uh, inshallah, when we will, I will make the test. So it's a uh, multiple choice. So you don't have to memorize them. Uh, if you do, it's a very good thing. But if you can't, it's okay. It's fine. If you, as long as you remember that what are the throat letters, the Yarmaloon letters and Ba. The rest of all the letters come in the rule of Ikhfa. That's an easy part. Okay? It's very easy to remember, inshallah. So all these 15 letters, if you memorize them, it's good. If not, then it's fine. Don't worry about that. As long as we are practicing, we are reciting the Quran uh, with proper tajweed, it's good, inshallah. I think we are running out of time today. <laughs> Because uh, I took more time in the rules. I wanted to explain all the rules. Otherwise, uh, you know, we have a break, one week break. We see each other after week. So then uh, I will wanted to give you time to practice. So any surah if you are practicing, whatever surah you are reading at home, uh, also you can practice these surahs. Yeah, I will practice with you, inshallah. So today, inshallah, we will just uh, practice the surah. Okay? So without... Uh, taking any um, without doing any delay inshallah we'll just practice start we'll okay so this is suratul humaza 
the first one I wanted to practice with you all. So who wants to go first? Okay, instead of me reading it, so uh, I will turn it, this one, into... Is it okay? Can you hear me? Yes, 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 please go ahead. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. الذي جمع ما لو وعدد يحسب أن ما له أخلد كلا لا يمبذن في الخطمة وما أدراك ما الخطمة نار الله المقد التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤطع عمد ممد Okay, Alhamdulillah. When you said this word, uh, this ayah, the second last, innaha alayhim muqsada. Whenever there is a sukoon on the hamza, then we do the jerky sound. Muqsada. Okay? Yeah. Good, mashallah. Mashallah, barakallah. Very good. Okay, so imagine me. Tali'u ala al-af'idah. When you say ala al-af'idah. Af, uh, I I feel like you're mixing the af with the af, like the ain. So these two things, uh, say just focus on again and then read again. التي تطلي على الاف إذا again you are going in the af على الاف إذا على الاف إذا yeah yeah good Michelle yeah read slowly slowly don't be fast. إنها عليهم مصدع. Don't say the mu. مصدع. مصدع. Yeah. في عمد ممددة. ما شاء الله. Good. ما شاء الله. مخارج الجود ما شاء الله. بارك الله في جزاك الله خير. Okay. Who's next? No, read again this one. Remember the val is a tongue out letter. Here we are doing the idram with khunna. الذي جمع ما لو عدد يحسب أنا ما له أقلد يحسب أن ما له أقلد يحسب أن ما له أقلد قل لا لا ينبثنا في الهتمة yeah, remember that we are doing iqlab here in this on this word. La nafil futama. So it's tragic. There's an alif with the ra. Adraka malhutama. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَلْهُتَمَا نَارُ اللَّهِ الْمُقَدَّةِ مُقَدَّةِ مُقَدَّةِ الَّذِي تَعْدَلِيُ عَلَى الْأَفْئِدَةِ here, do the small the jerky sound on the muqsada. Innaha alayhim muqsada. 
إنها عليهم مؤكدة في عمد ممددة Good. Here in the last one, we are also doing, remember, the idram here. Fi amadim. There's a kasra tan. There's a kasra tan mean on the dal. And right after, there's a neem coming. Remember the yarmalun letters? So this is one of the yarmalun. So again, here, uh, do the hunna. Because uh, on the idram with hunna, we, we do the nasal sound. Fi amadim mumadada. ما شاء الله good بارك الله فيك ما شاء الله جزاك الله خير you did very good ما شاء الله so Mrs. Salma you don't want to read uh, I'm sorry yeah uh, I was asking you it's a night uh, midnight at your place okay so so far all of you are okay you're clear on the noon sakin rules I didn't, uh, we don't have enough time that we practice this uh, uh, surah feel. This is the second part, you can see. Okay, yeah, that's that's better, Sister Salma. Yeah, you can send me the recording, inshallah. So the for, the homework for all of you is practice suratul feel and suratul humaza. I will send you the link. Uh, you can uh, also find online at like on YouTube as well. But I will send you the recording. And then you can practice. So this this basically covers all the rules so far we have uh, learned of the Nun Sakina and Tanwi. So Alhamdulillah that we have covered this topic today. And from next week, Inshallah, we will start uh, the new rule. And uh, also remember that uh, uh, go through uh, on the go to the website and uh, review all the slides because I told you that I will post the. Uh, written test for you inshallah next week and you will get the email inshallah so you can attempt the written test so the written test will not cover uh, the noon sakina rules okay just make sure if you have any questions please uh, message me or email the admin uh, yeah slides uh, Michelle, when you log in to the Adduha institute website you can find all the recordings inshallah and the powerpoints as well so you can go there for the reference, whatever I've taught you so far. But uh, again, I'm telling you that the written test will not cover the Nun Sakina rules. Only Makharij, the articulation points. And uh, uh, from before the Makharij, we did the etiquettes of learning and few other things in the first, second class. So for only the test will be for those topics, okay? And once we finish the Min Sakina rules and uh, Qalqala and other topics that I'm going to cover in the few next few classes, then I will take at the end of the semester, I will take another test that will cover the rules, inshallah. If you have any questions, please do email us or message, inshallah. So just let's just, uh, Turn off the recording, just make a dua for ending the class, inshallah. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa the Afs. Inna al insan la fi khus illa al ladina amanu wa amilu al salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr. Jazakum Allahu khayran kathira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.